Hey guys, this is Kevil again and uh, really sorry for not being um, <laughs> on YouTube for a couple of uh, what weeks, months. But anyway, this is part two of Cake PHP and uh, three. Sorry, that's part two of Cake PHP three, and we'll be learning about views, set up a virtual host, and get ourselves working towards Cake PHP. So now, first of all, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and create um, a demo project. Now we all know how to do that, right? Uh, we just go composer, create project, Cake PHP app. If you don't know uh, how I did this or how Composer works, I recommend you to go back to my channel and check out um, a video which uh, goes by getting started. Yeah, that's that's what it is. So yeah, I'll just go ahead and create project Cake PHP app and uh, I'll put it in the demo folder. While this happens, what I'll do is I'll quickly go ahead and create a virtual host. Now when I say virtual host, it simply means that I go in the browser and I open the browser and I just type in like demo.local and the site should come up, right? And if you're in production or if you're working on a project, you could just put my project, whatever your project name is and .local, you can do that. You can change uh, things, different things. Uh, okay, so now uh, I'll just minimize this let me see what's happening here yep it's almost done now we'll get back to you baby first i need to become a sudo now if you're on a ubuntu machine this is how you could how you do it okay uh at sudo dash i this gives you root privileges that like you become root root okay so what i'll do is i'll go ahead and edit my host file which is nano space slash etc slash host as you can see on the screen so this is my etc host file what i'll do is i'll just put my local ip address that is 127.0.0.1 now irrespective of any machine or any internet connection that you are on this is your private personal machine uh ip address that is how your machine recognizes itself okay now that's your home so I just go and do demo local demo dot local on one two seven dot zero dot zero dot one. Further, what I do is I create a virtual host on Apache. Now, if you're using Nginx, uh, there's a different way to do it, but I'll just show you about Apache. Now, if you don't have Apache installed on your machine, I recommend you do apt-get install Apache two PHP five my SQL client and my SQL server I guess yep server and PHP my admin uh, PHP my admin is quite handy and I use it a lot all right so <coughs> I'll go ahead and create a virtual host now why do I need a virtual host like I can just do like ping demo dot local and yep it comes back to my IP address but then uh, Apache doesn't know where to serve the files from so we will tell Apache where to serve the files from so what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and create uh, demo.local.conf so that I can recognize the file and it must end with .conf extension right I'll just begin read everything on port 80 listen I mean not read exactly and server name is demo.local and document root where should it read things from so i've just created everything under demo so i'll just go in demo and i can see the cake php files i'll go in web root now when i do pwd it gives me uh, the location of the current working directory so I'll just paste this in. Just a minute. Do we have this ping running? Hang on. Nope. You don't don't need it. Okay. And secondly, since I'll be using few HT access things, uh, what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and tell my Apache that I want to override Apache uh, default settings. So allow override override all and service apache 2 restart 
does not exist. Now, why doesn't that happen? Oh, that's something else. Ignore it. So I just go on demo.local. Now, I do not prefix www in front of it, right? Whoa, I can see it. Please be aware that this page will not be shown if you turn off debug mode unless you disable the not found function, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Now, CakePHP is not able to connect to the database. That is because we have not connected to the database. I think uh, it, 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 it feels like deja vu. Is, is it the same thing which I said in my previous video? If yes, we'll just go ahead and solve it. So what I'll do is I'll just go on localhost PHP my admin. Now remember, you need to install PHP my admin. Uh, I just gave you the script how to do it, right? APD get installed. But before that, you need to know that who am I should return root. Okay, or you need to do sudo apt get install php my admin. Right now, root root that's my default username password, and I'll just go ahead and create a demo database. Demo, I'll just keep it empty for now. So, now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and open the file and I configure. Oopsie, okay. Sorry. I wasn't quite prepared for it, but yeah. If you're wondering what my uh, OS is, it's called Elementary OS. Wait, what, what was it? Demo. Demo. Okay. So I'll go in app.php file and I'll just scroll down, scroll down until I see database. Yep, I see data sources. Now data sources, it says MySQL, yep, localhost. Port number, if you have any non-standard port number, I guess MAMP uses uh, some different port number. So you need to uncomment this part and put MAMP thing, uh, if you're using Linux or Windows, you don't have to do anything about, hey, yeah, it says right here, MAMP uses port 8889. That's, that's, so that's, that's what you need to do. Like if you're using, if you're a Mac user, but make sure it's not under quotes. It shouldn't be 8889, okay? It should be 8889 like this, right? Now, we don't need it because we are using 3306, which is default. I'll just go ahead and configure it. Root, root, and the database name was, what was it? Hang on, demo. Right, I'll just come and refresh it. Yep, CakePHP is able to connect to the database. Wow, pretty neat. Okay, now it says, please be aware that this page will not be shown if your debug mode, uh, if you turn off debug mode unless you disable so now, where do we find debug mode? It's right here on app.php, everything right under the hood. So I just turn it off. Let me see what happens. Ooh, so it says, please replace pages home.cdb with your own version. Some of you are guessing where does this page come from? So we'll just go ahead and find out, right? <coughs> so what I'll do is under config, I'll go in routes. Now routes tells this application where to find what if uh, where to find what for any particular uh, request. For example, slash is nothing but demo.local slash, which is nothing but your home page. Now it says controller should be pages and action should be display and additional parameter is home. I'll just go ahead and remove it. Now let's find out. We go under source, under controllers. Now that's where your controllers are, unless you have plugins. Plugins will cover in future chapters. So I go ahead and go under source. I go under controllers. It says pages controller. I open pages controller and I should see an action display. Now what is a controller? Controller is like a class file and action is like a function to the class file public function to the class file. Easy? Okay, I'll just go ahead and remove these comments just to make it a bit more cleaner. 
catch all routes will come to this what all right and uh, okay we don't have to remove this we just need we can remove this yep need and clean not exactly but yeah need and clean so yeah, I'll just go on pages controller and action display. Just so we understand how this works, I'll just go ahead and do something really crazy. And that is exit. Echo, this is home page. Exit. This is home page. Now, so where, where, where is all of this uh, coming from? There's no HTML here. Where, oops, hang on, something's up. Oh yeah, we removed home. And it doesn't like it. Yep, okay, so where does it come from? It comes from views. Now when I say views, it means um, to make it simpler, the controller name should be the folder name under templates. Now, do you see this templates, right? That's the controller name. This is confusing. So what I'll do is I'll just go ahead and create a page called display.ctp. CTP. And I'll just save it. Go on, save it. Yep. And I'll just put basic HTML in it. second and I'll just put title as demo cake PHP 3 h1 what happened hang on I'll just save it And I'll remove all of this. Hold tab. Refresh it. And it says demo cake PHP 3. Second, now the in next tutorial we'll cover layouts. So I just want you to go ahead and play around with what we did so far and I'll get back to you with a new video. Go ahead and play around with this. You just go ahead and create uh, like different functions and uh, structureize your application like login and uh, sign up and various things. Play around a bit and I'll get back to you with another video on, on layouts and how we configure views. All right, have fun.